there could be some uh, pretty stressful conversations for the royal family following claims made by a new biography of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. It suggests relations between the Sussexes and the rest of the family are at rock bottom. And our royal editor, Chris Shipp, is at Buckingham Palace. Uh, lots of headlines, Chris, but how bad have things got? Well, not any better since they left and actually a little bit worse. I mean, my understanding is that William and his brother Harry are not talking at all right now. And uh, Harry and Meghan are not only distant from the royal family in terms of where they live in Los Angeles, they're distant on so many uh, other levels as well. I think the book just confirmed really a lot of what we already knew. Buckingham Palace won't comment on it. They say they never do. And a spokesperson for the Sussexes said that they didn't contribute towards the book. But Mary, it's really hard not to reach the conclusion that they've cooperated with this in some form or another, quite closely, we suspect, perhaps even meeting uh, the authors. Now, earlier this afternoon, I met an author, uh, Angela Levin, who wrote a biography on Harry a couple of years ago and she met him in order to write that book. She says that the Harry she sees today isn't the one she met then. Harry's changed enormously since I met him. I found that he was, he was charismatic, he had royal dust, stardust of him. He was brilliant with people, especially if they were physically or emotionally or psychologically damaged. He He's was still got fun. that now though, hasn't he? He's still got he, that He's got a mischievous side. Well, He's got very, very sort of a shadow of himself. Now, this new book, Finding Freedom, comes out in a couple of weeks. We're presuming that The Times, which has serialised it, has had all the best bits. But whatever more is in there, I think reading the extracts, one thing is clear, that it's Harry and Meghan's view, at least, it will be disputed in here, but it's Harry and Meghan's view that they weren't made to feel welcome inside the royal family. OK. Chris Shipp, Buckingham Palace, thank you.